Hello, hello, and welcome to another Rang Rouge unit of the week. And today we're taking a look at the Luftdorf Fusilier, available to the 16th Luftdorf Division. So, in 1942, the German took a rather heavy beating due to the Russian winter of the previous year, and they needed guys as manpower to help reinforce their front line. So, there was a bit of haggling between the army and the Luftdorf, convincing Luftdorf to just send in troops, we just need guys to send them off to the front line under our command. After some political intrigue back and forth, essentially Hermann Gorin managed to convince the army like, okay, I'll make some Luftwaffe field infantry divisions under my command, under Luftwaffe command, and I'll send them off to the Eastern Front and also Western Front to help you guys out. And that's how Luftwaffe field divisions became a thing. They weren't exactly great though, unsurprisingly, as a lot of these troops one frontline infantry troops, there were aircraft personnel, meteorologists, just administrative personnel, not not guys who were meant to be doing the frontline fighting. They weren't really given quality equipment because they didn't really know how to use it, and they weren't given a quantity of equipment because there just wasn't enough equipment to go around. They were rather low priority on the packing order. Usually a Luftwaffe field division had half the strength compared to a comparable army hair division and this brings us round to the 16th Luftwaffe division which is rather anticlimactic a history they were formed in 1942 they were sent to amsterdam to man coastal batteries and of course normandy happened in 1944. in july of 1944 they were sent to canae to help man the defenses and relieve the panzer division a few days later the battle of canae happened and the British managed to punch right through and break the 16th Luftwaffe Division. They had fall back east, reform, and they would set defences again at Column Bells. And at Column Bells, the British and Canadians punched right through the 16th Luftwaffe sector, and at that point, there really wasn't much left of the 16th Luftwaffe, and they were disbanded. Pretty, pretty anticlimactic stuff. In game, the Luftwaffe Fusilier is a 40 point recon unit available in A to B phase for the Luftwaffe Division, and it has a set of four weapons. So, your weapon loadout consists of two MP28, six Car 98s, one MG15, this is the airplane MG15, not the World War I MG15, and a Faust Patron. It's a rather nice, healthy weapon loadout. You got two SMGs for close range, a decent machine gun, actually a pretty good machine gun, as well as a medium range anti-tank weapon. And if you pop down to the Miscalonia stats, they got nine guys in a squad, good stealth at a speed of 18 kilometers an hour, very high optics, and a heavy cargo space. In battle, Luftwaffe Fusiliers are rather important infantry rotation mark units for the 16th Luftwaffe, as they're really your only frontline infantry for the division, that aren't demoralized. These are actual regular troops. Yeah, they do have recon optics, which is rather nice. Now, compared to regular fusiliers, surprisingly, even though they're Luftwaffe troops, it's actually much better. The machine gun, the MG-15, is actually better in the MG-34, and I'd take a Faust Patron over magnetic grenades any day of the week. Really, in terms of weapon loadout, they're very similar to the Italian freight troops with the SMG, machine gun, and Faust combo. Yo, you are 15 points more expensive because this is a recon unit, and that's kind of a bad thing, unfortunately, because it, it makes them rather expensive for what they really are. They're, they're no special forces troops, but compared to other guys, they may as well be. Now, it may seem rather tempting to take all the Luftwaffe Fusiliers, even though they are expensive, because you want actual good, decent frontline infantry, but it's not really a good idea with 16th Luftwaffe. Mainly due to the fact is you do want at least one two-man squad, as these guys can't hide in cover as well, compared to your regular two-man squad. And also the A-Phase two-man squad for 16th do have a nice little armoured, it's the French knockoff Bren carrier with this machine gun. On it, which isn't that bad, it's one of the few mechanized units to get for 16, so you've got that going for you. Overall, the Luftwaffe Fusiliers are actually pretty nice. They're a little shining diamond within the terrible atrocity 
of the infantry quality of 16 Luft Trophy. At the same time, Luft Trophy Eagles and Pioneers aren't that bad. They do have a good roll and they're pretty cheap, but they're not they're not the best in the roll. They're not the most reliable infantry. And, uh, well, I'm going to leave, off, leave it off. Uh, yeah, this has been another Rangaroo Shunit of the Reek. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, as usual, please just take it easy.